Testing, testing, can everybody hear me? Hopefully everybody can hear me. Having a little bit of technical difficulties here. This is usually how this goes. All right, I got a yo. Can anybody tell me over in the chat box if you can hear me? Please and thank you. Yes, can you hear me? Do we have sound? All right, <laughs> and I am live. Sorry about that, guys. Um, YouTube keeps like changing settings, and every time that I try to do one of these, I swear it's like a completely different thing. But I'm up, hopefully you guys can see me. I would assume that you can hear me. I'm getting a lot of yeah, and people can hear me, and awesome, I'm glad that you guys can hear me. So, um, welcome. Hopefully everybody out there is doing good. It has been a while. Um, it's been a while since I've sat down in front of the camera and talked to it, since I took a break, and it's definitely um, been a while since I did a live Q&A. For a while there, I was doing these hiker trash lives during quarantine, during the big part of quarantine, to make sure that um, everybody stayed connected. Where I had other people in here, so it was usually me interviewing somebody, but for this one, I just kind of wanted to do it solo. Wanted to answer some questions and everything. Um, somebody said, I see you fine with the haircut. Oh yeah, I cut all my hair off. I'm about to cut more of it off. So it's kind of still a little bit long in the back, a little shaggy, but uh, I'm gonna cut it off even more. So new hat, new hair, actually new glasses because I broke my old glasses, sadly enough. So um, hopefully you're all doing well. It's kind of, it's always fun and kind of nerve wracking to do this live thing because every time that I do one, nothing ever goes right or very little goes right. Kind of like um, it not streaming properly. Thanks YouTube, I really appreciate it. So for this q and I asked a bunch of people over on Instagram. So a lot of times, you know, I'll ask patrons over on my Patreon page, I will ask people on Instagram, on Facebook. Sometimes I just go directly off of the chat box over here. But I did ask a lot of questions over on Instagram. I will definitely still um, answer some questions over here as they come in and I see them. But I do want to answer some main questions that I got off of Instagram. So I come a little bit prepared. We'll see how prepared that I actually am. So... The number one question that I want to kind of ask right off the bat is one that I got on Instagram and I've kind of been, if you guys have been following along, if you do follow me on Instagram, you'll know that I've been talking a lot about a new film project that I'm about to start and that is a film project about public lands. I've been having a lot of questions, people ask me what the details of that are, what the film is actually going to be about because there are a lot of different movies and documentaries about public lands, about the history of public lands, stuff like that. And why I'm so obsessed with public lands is because it means a lot to me. It's, it's a cause that I like to fight for um, because we all use it. If you are out on the trail, if you're using a long distance trail, if you're going out to a national park or a national forest, you are using public lands. And the film that I really wanna make and the topic that I wanna to touch on is the fact that the outdoor industry is this massive billions and billions of dollar industry, whether that's gear, whether that's tourism, whether that is guiding trips, uh, whether that is YouTube videos, um, people making media online. It's a multi-billion dollar industry and I feel like there are a lot of companies and different places that are not as well educated in public lands and why it's important to protect them and fight for them as they should be. So I wanna make a documentary about that side of it. Not necessarily about the, um, the government side of it, not necessarily about the history of it and why it's great, because I feel like to this point we sh all should know why it's great and why we should fight for it. But I really wanna talk about the fact that there is a lot of the outdoor industry that is not really stepping up and fighting for public lands, not giving back to public lands. There was a really awesome film that's gonna to premiere tomorrow here on YouTube for free that Yvonne Chouinard from Patagonia actually produced. Um, and it is about public lands. It's called Public Trust. 
I think it's going to be going up on Patagonia's YouTube channel and it will be completely free to watch. I highly suggest watching it, but that is a company that really cares about um, the thing that they profit off of, right? Like it's a, again, it is a billion, billion, billion dollar industry and there are a handful of companies that are stepping up to back up the public lands that they are profiting off of um, and that they're exploiting to a point. So um, I want to make a film about that side of it. What I know, right? I know gear. I know um, my side of it, being a influencer, being a, um, you know, being a YouTuber. As much as I hate those terms, I see my side of it and, and how I'm connected to it. So that's the story that I want to tell. So what I wanted to do real quick, uh, and then I'll move on to some other stuff, is plug that real quick. If you guys want to follow along with that process, so we have started an Instagram account for the Public Lands film, and next week on Friday, on October 2nd, I'll be hitting the road for three weeks. So that was another announcement that I wanted to make. I'm about to go on a big trip, go out to the East Coast. I'll be stopping on parts of the CDT, on parts of the AT. Um, I'll be going out to a few different national parks, national forest, national wilderness areas to start production on the film. And if you guys want to follow along with kind of that process and stuff, um, you should definitely check out uh, Public Lands Film. Whoa, over here. <laughs> um, I get I get my, there it is, Public Lands. <laughs> the Public Lands Film over on Instagram. Like I said, we will be posting a lot of Instagram live stuff. We might do some Q&As while we're on the road. Uh, we'll be doing some behind the scenes stuff and doing a bunch of different um, stories. So you can kind of, keep up to date with that whole process of shooting the film, if that's something that you're interested in. Again, I would think that if you're watching me here on YouTube, if you're into hiking and backpacking, that is something that you should be interested in. So hopefully you'll be interested in the process of the film. So again, Public Lands film over on Instagram, definitely check that out. Uh, got a super chat from RJ Hikes and says, will you highlight cottage companies? Yes, I will be highlighting in the film certain cottage companies that have, in fact, uh, given a lot back to public lands. Companies that do support public lands, because I think it's really, really important um, that not only big business, right, like companies like Patagonia and stuff, but the small businesses that profit off of that thing that we all use. So again, go check it out over Public Lands Film. I love these like little things that I can pop up. Public Lands Film over on Instagram and, um, I'll keep you guys updated on it, for sure. All right, so, I'm totally gonna do this off the cuff, folks. Um, so let's see, let's get back to the chat here. So I'm gonna pull some more questions off of the phone. There's a couple topics that I wanna go over in this Q&A, and if you have been, if you paid attention, well, if you can look down and pay attention to the, uh, the title, you'll know some of the topics that I do want to cover. And um, luckily, I got some questions about that over on Instagram. So um, that is definitely something I want to touch on. Um, Legend, the free outside, actually asked me, what was the first YouTube video you ever made? So it was a really crappy, terrible video where I interviewed a buddy of mine that is a professional cyclist. His name is Mike Boren. The music that plays at the beginning of my videos and my intro, that is actually Mike Boren. He wrote that music. So if you look at the credits of my videos, you'll see music by Mike Boren. That's him. And if you guys go back into my archives on my videos, you will find a very, very old video from 2015 where I sat down with him and had a beer and we talked about um, cycling in Southern Indiana and being a pro cyclist and we drink a beer and it's really awful and the lighting's terrible. I think it's in black and white because the color was so bad I turned it in black and white. But I highly suggest going to check that out if you ever want a really good laugh. Um, and also congrats to Legend for any of you that don't know. My buddy Jeff Garmeyer, also known as Legend, just set the Colorado Trail FKT, the unsupported fastest known time, which was nine days and some odd hours. I totally forget. Somebody knows, put it over here in the chat. But a uh, big congrats to him on that. All right, let's see what else we got. Like I said, I will answer periodically questions that pop up over here. Um, uh, 
Someone said, where do you get most of your gear? So I get most of my gear just like where everybody gets it. Um, I am a big supporter in cottage companies. I have been for years. You guys probably know that. Uh, for years I used kind of the run of the mill um, backpacking gear from places like REI or local outfitters. Now I'm very much more geared towards smaller companies that were started by hikers, started by people in the outdoors, and companies that heavily support the things that um, that I feel like you should support, like public lands. Again, kind of coming back to that topic. Um, so I personally try to support those companies so I know that my money is going towards a good cause. I know that that company is not just trying to exploit the outdoor industry, or the outdoor culture, um, the through hiking culture. I know that they, it's not just about money, right? I mean, making, having a business and making gear and selling stuff is obviously a business and you have to make money. Duh, we all know that, right? But I like to know that at least certain companies are giving a percentage back to that community that they're a part of or giving back to something like the National Park Service or like a local trail. Um, kind of important to me, something that I really try to focus on. So that's usually where I get my gear. I get it from a little bit of everywhere. Um, all right. So someone said, how was the Colorado Trail? I saw it over here. I'm just kind of scrolling through real quick in a couple of the chat uh, over here. How was the Colorado Trail? It was phenomenal. Uh, actually, today I was going to be releasing my first Colorado Trail video, but I decided to hold off until next week. So for some reason, some of you guys didn't get notified. Last week, I put out part two of my Uinta Trail through hike video, and I kind of wanted a little bit of breathing room between the Uinta Trail through hike and the Colorado Trail through hike. So that's why we're doing a live Q&A today. And I'm kind of taking my time with the edit uh, with the Colorado Trail. So really want to make sure it is something special. Plus, I'm trying to get a bunch of stuff together. So when I hit the road next week, I have media for you guys to come out as I'm out on the road. But Colorado Trail was great. If you guys didn't get a chance to follow along over on Instagram, I have archived all of those stories as I was doing some stories while I was out there. Um, so go check those out if you kind of want to get a little sneak peek of my Colorado Trail through hike before I put out those videos. Uh, as some of you guys that watch me probably know, I did a fair bit of ranting. <laughs> People always ask me what I think about um, and what's kind of going through my head when I'm on the trail. So I took the opportunity while I was out on the Colorado Trail to kind of rant and get some stuff off my mind. So if you guys didn't get a chance to watch that, you should go check that out over on my Instagram for sure. Um, oh, I got a super chat from Nomad Skateboarding. Um, it says, thank you for what you do. Thanks, Nomad. I appreciate it. Um, thanks for watching and being interested and still keeping uh, in tune with what I'm doing. Staying tuned, if it, as it were. Thank you. I really appreciate it. And thanks for the super chat. All right. Let's grab another. Oh, got another super chat. Let me see what's up with this one real quick. Oh, from Wayne. Wayne Leidman? Leidman? Am I saying that right? Probably not. Littleman? Littleman? Light, Lindman. <laughs> Terrible. Um, thank you so much, Wayne. I really appreciate it. Thank you for, you could have asked a question. You didn't have to just do that, but thank you. I appreciate your support. All right, let's see what we got on the docket here. This is a good question that I really dig. Someone asked, got a couple of tips and tricks when it comes to photography and videography on the trail. Um, yeah, I think that the best tip that I can give anybody that's trying to get into uh, photography or uh, filming video while they're out on the trail is just do it as much as possible. Make a lot of mistakes. Go out with your camera and you know don't shoot in auto. Put it on manual. Get out there and make some mistakes. Overexpose some stuff. Underexpose some stuff. Get your frame rates wrong. Get out there and play with the camera and really learn it. You know, I've been shooting video and been really into video for the last five, six years being out on trail. I love to film my hikes, but really in the last year, I feel like I've really learned a lot with my camera and connected to it. 
um, just by filming a ton, working on the film that I did last year, doing YouTube videos, going out and shooting my hikes, just shooting for fun. I mean, there's tons of hikes that I do that I'll never turn into a YouTube video. You guys will never see the footage of because when I go out, I just use my camera and I use it as much as possible. Even if I know that I'm not gonna film anything in particular, I use it as much as possible just so I can learn the camera and it makes me a better photographer and videographer. I wouldn't consider myself a photographer, but I feel like it makes me a better videographer. So that is my best advice that I have. Super chat from Brittany Collins over in the chat says, I have four free days to backpack in Colorado next month. Which sections of the Colorado Trail that you would recommend the most? Um, I would say the most, if I had to go hike a spot again right now would be the San Juans. Um, basically between Lake City and um, Silverton. That section of the trail, it's super exposed. It's definitely some hard hiking, but it is so gorgeous. That mountain range, the San Juan mountain range, is just so beautiful. Um, I would love to rehike that section multiple times. I definitely plan on going back out there and rehiking it. Uh, not just on the CDT, when I eventually get around to the CDT, which we will talk about today, for any of you that are interested in that and have been interested in that for a long time. Um, but I, I will definitely go back out and rehike that section. And the other thing is the, the West Collegiate. So on the Colorado Trail, there are two different routes through the Collegiates. You can either take the East Collegiate or the West Collegiate. The West Collegiate shares the trail with the CDT. So when they were routing the Colorado Trail originally, they used the CDT through that section. And eventually over years, they made a separate route going east. Now it's called the Collegiate Loop. You'll hear people talk about hiking the Collegiate Loop all the time. I think there's somebody that just said an FKT on it like last week, maybe just a couple days ago, doing the entire loop, the east and the west. But the West Collegiate, if you're gonna go through hike the CT um, and you're trying to decide, do I go east or do I go west? Because they're both official routes. The west is beautiful. It's definitely harder hiking. Um, it's definitely much more exposed above tree line. So if it's bad weather, probably don't hike it, but it's gorgeous. It's absolutely amazing. Really, really great views. And yeah, just some phenomenal mountains, some phenomenal passes. So that is what I would suggest. Um, Tyler Cole with a super chat says, are you going to mention indigenous communities in the film? Yes, sir, I am. Um, I actually already have a couple interviews set up with some indigenous communities. Um, I won't spoil anything yet and won't say who it is. I don't wanna give out too much about the film because like I said, you know, we want people following along with the process of the film. So if you wanna stay a little more connected to it, definitely go check it out over on Instagram. Um, but yes, we do plan on talking to some indigenous communities, indigenous people whose land, you know, a lot of public lands were not public lands at one time, um, I'm sure as some of you know. And again, if you want a really good insight on that, there is a film coming out tomorrow here on YouTube called Public Trust, and they really dive into that part of public land, so I highly suggest watching it if you guys get a chance. Um, another super chat from Ryan. Uh, your videos helped me to prepare my 14,000 kilometer hike, 1,400 hit, 1,400 kilometer, 14,000, that's a big hike, 14 kilometer hike last year in Japan. So just wanna say thank you. Thanks, Ryan, appreciate it. Glad that I'm not just talking to myself a lot of times, glad that somebody's getting something out of it. So it always makes me feel good when, whenever I know that somebody's getting something. Backcountry exposure, my buddy Devin. Thanks, buddy. Um, so if some of you don't know uh, this, this fine gentleman that just super chatted, um, his name is Devin from Backcountry Exposure. He has an excellent YouTube channel. I highly suggest it. I consider him a very good friend. He said, use this for the film, buy a tank of gas or whatever during your travel. Thank you for pushing public lands and how we can take care of them. Absolutely. I appreciate your support, bud. Um, Colby, Colby Hanley says, what are some good companies or nonprofits to donate to that give back to public lands? Phenomenal question. Thank you so much for asking that. Um, I'll just reiterate this real quick. <laughs> Last year, I spent an entire year making a film 
about public lands uh, with the subject of being the Arizona Trail. Um, put that film out and that's why I did it. I wanted to do it so we could raise money for a nonprofit, for the Arizona Trail Association that does so much for public lands here in Arizona. Um, and there are so many great trail associations out there that are nonprofit. You know, just your local trails, the big trails. You know, you have the Pacific Crest Trail, the Appalachian Trail, the Continental Divide. Get a hold of those associations, become a member. You know, I think you can become a member for like $20, $25 a year in most of the trail associations. Um, and maybe not just the big ones. Find some trails that are in your backyard. Find, you know, if you live in, try to pull a random one out here, if you live in Colorado, um, get a hold of the Colorado Trail Foundation and maybe donate a couple bucks. Maybe not even donate a couple bucks, donate a little bit of your time. Get out and, you know, swing an ax. Um, there are tons of really great um, organizations as well. Uh, one of my personal favorites right now, and one that we are about to do something really big for, is the Conservation Lands Foundation. Um, so if you're not familiar with it, definitely go check it out. They are doing a lot to preserve a lot of conservation lands and a lot of public lands in the Southwest and basically all over the U.S. Um, my company, Outdoor Evolution, and the film project are about to do a really big project that is going to involve them where we're going to be giving 75% of the proceeds that are made on this project back to the Conservation Lands Foundation. So that is a great one um, and one that we, like I said, are going to be quite involved with. So I highly suggest checking them out and getting a hold of them. But really just kind of do your research. Um, reach out to any local trail associations. Look for different foundations and organizations that go out and do work to preserve and protect public lands. Best thing you can do. All right. Um, randomly, I just read, worst poop experience for me was touching someone else's poop. Ew, that's nasty. Um, I guess someone's asking what my worst poop experience. Not that bad. <laughs> uh, all right. So... There's a couple random topics that I want to touch on today. So a big one that people have been asking me for a long time is about the CDT, the Continental Divide Trail. Uh, as some of you might know, the Colorado Trail shares a lot of trail with the CDT. So when I was out on the Colorado Trail, I hiked a lot of the CDT. The whole part that goes to the San Juans is CDT. The West Collegiate is the CDT. So, um, you know, I have for years put off the CDT for a handful of reasons. The number one reason for me is because I felt like if I went out to hike it, it would just be getting a triple crown. And to me, it's not important. I don't want to take that away from anybody else. If the triple crown is important to you, then that's what you should strive for. Everybody should have goals. And if that is your goal in hiking, you should go get the Triple Crown and, um, you know, hats off and congrats to anybody that is a Triple Crowner. To me, that's not why I hike. I don't hike for labels. I don't hike uh, to get, you know, a t-shirt, um, a medal. That's not why I do it. I raced triathlon for years and I felt the same way about that. You know, whenever you finish a triathlon, they give you a medal and they give you a shirt uh, and a swag bag. It never meant anything to me. I raced triathlon because I loved to race. I love to get out there and be competitive and it's how I feel about hiking. So I have put it off because to me there have been other important things that I've wanted to do. Last year was a big year for me. A lot of people thought that I was going to get done with the PCT in 2018 and that I was going to go out and do the CDT last year to get my triple crown. And instead of going out to do the CDT, I went out to shoot a film about the Arizona Trail and to hike the Arizona Trail and to focus on a smaller trail and not make it about me. I didn't want it to be self-serving. So I did something for someone else. I did it so I could donate to someone else. So far, we've raised over $15,000 for the Arizona Trail Association. We've brought a lot of attention um, and gotten a lot of people out there to help volunteer to help maintain that trail. And to me, that was so much more important than going out and hiking the CDT to get a triple crown. That being said, I have a couple more things that I want to do. Uh, 
by the end of this year and next year, which I'm not ready to release yet. I have some plans for next year uh, that I will eventually release. One of the big ones is obviously working on this new film, but I'll go ahead and say it now. I'll go ahead and put it out there for everybody right now. Here it comes. You've been probably waiting on it. I will be through hiking the CDT, if all goes as planned, in 2022. So not next year, but I will be through hiking it the next year. Um, I thought I was gonna make a video to announce that, but I figured it was better to kind of do it here on a live stream. Uh, so for everybody that's been asking me that won't leave me alone about it, I will be doing it in 2022 because that's when I'll be ready. That's when I'll be ready to do it. Um, I got some big plans saved up for it and you guys will find out about those plans coming up over the next year, but that is the year. It's marked on my calendar and for everyone that wants to maybe know, I am gonna be doing it southbound. Uh, everyone that I've ever known that's hiked the CDT, northbound versus southbound, everyone I know that's ever done it southbound has liked it more southbound. And everyone that I know that's ever done it northbound has not really liked the trail as much or has had difficulties, it had a lot of problems. So I'm gonna be doing it southbound. I'm gonna be doing it in 2022. Um, so I don't know, maybe you guys will stick around, maybe you won't, that's cool. Maybe I'll stick around, maybe I won't, who knows? <laughs> Who knows what will happen in the next year, folks. Um, but again, to answer that question, that's why. That's why I haven't done it. Because I feel like there are more important topics and issues that I care about than doing something that's self-serving like becoming a triple crowner. I don't really care. I just, I don't care. Sorry. <laughs> um, I know you guys want to see me do it, but my answer to that is if you want to see the CDT Go out and hike it yourself. I'm ins I want to inspire you to go out and through hike it yourself. Go do a trail yourself, film it, put it up on YouTube so everyone can watch it. I want to watch it. I want to watch you through hike the CDT versus you wanting to watch me through hike the CDT. So that is all I'll say about that. <laughs> all right. On that topic, I want to bring up something that I have gotten a lot of questions about since I put the video out and for some of you that might not know, I took a massive break and technically, I guess I'm still taking a break um, from doing my regular every Thursday video. I stopped making videos for about three weeks while I was out on the Colorado Trail. I had some videos backlogged and really I only, there was only like the last handful of days I was on the Colorado Trail where I didn't put out a video. And then I had about two weeks off where I was here at home uh, getting to spend time with my wife and getting to dive into some passion projects that I've wanted to do. So for any of you that don't know, um, I do own a media company, which is actually where I'm sitting right now, hence the background. Uh, I own a media company. It's based out of Flagstaff, Arizona. It's called Outdoor Evolution. There's a website side of it where we publish media, um, and there is also a media company side of it where we produce media for other people, uh, locally, regionally, um, kind of a little bit of everybody. So I wanted to dive into some of those projects and some of the stuff that I kind of been putting on the back burner because I love doing YouTube. I like this, but you guys got to understand I've been doing this for over five years. And I mean, I have like 300 and something videos, almost 400 videos here on the channel. I feel like I've made a video on just about everything. So one of the main reasons I took a break is A, I felt A, number one, however you want to say it, is I feel like I needed to take a break to really figure out what I want to do next here on the platform, here on YouTube. Um, and that break allowed me to get connected with other projects that I've wanted to do for a while without the stress of having to produce a new video. And, you know, I don't have a whole lot going on this year. Like a lot of us, my hikes got canceled. Right? I was supposed to be out on the AT for like 900 miles. I couldn't do that. I was supposed to go to Peru. I couldn't do that. I was supposed to go up to Canada and through hike the Great Divide Trail. I couldn't do that. So all of that media, all those gear reviews that were going to come with the testing of the gear out on those trails and the, the trip videos and all that stuff, I couldn't do. And I'm not just going to sit here and basically come up with stuff. I'm not going to like pull hairs to make media because that's not inspiring. That, that's how you burn out. And to be 100% honest, I've burned out. Uh, I burned out from five years because to a point you kind of get caught up in it. You're like, oh, I gotta make a video this week. I gotta put out a video. 
and then you just make a random video about something that nobody really cares about and it shouldn't be that interesting. And there's some other people here on YouTube that do that. Um, I just kind of refuse to do that. <laughs> I'm not going to do that. If I have a great idea for a video and I feel like there's something I want to talk about that I want to teach you guys or that I want to share with you, I will definitely make a video about it. But if not, I'm not just going to randomly make a video on nothing, on stuff that I've already made, um, just because that's silly, right? So that was one of the main reasons for the break. The other main reason for the break is the fact that the beginning of this year was a bit of a disappointment for me. I'm going to just throw it out here. I'm going to be 100% honest with you guys because why not? I got nothing to lose. Um, I spent all year last year making a film about public lands, about something else. Um, I just saw that somebody said there's nothing good about social media, period. I don't agree with that. Why are you on here in the chat if there's nothing good about social media? <laughs> just here to troll? Because that seems kind of silly. So anyways, um, I don't agree. I think social media is actually a really great tool where you can make a lot of change and you can inspire a lot of people. And that is what I aim to do. So um, I spent all year making a film and I put that film out at the beginning of the year in February. And um, please don't take this as me whining or not being appreciative because I am so, I appreciate everything that you guys do. I love I appreciate so much and I love the fact that you guys have followed me for this long and have followed my stuff and like watching me sit here and talk to you on a camera. But I put out a film that I put an entire year of work into and poured my heart into it. And when I released the trailer for the film, um, you know, I think there was like 30, 40,000 people that watched the trailer for the film. Uh, tons of comments, people that followed along on Instagram. Uh, 4,000, 5,000 people that followed along on Instagram or something. Uh, we, when we released the film, we had a big showing for the premiere of it here in Flagstaff. It was great. Thank you again for everyone that came out for that. And then when we dropped it online, um, still to date for downloading it, uh, just over 2,000 people have watched the film. Um, again, I'm not complaining because we raised a lot of money for a nonprofit for public lands. But when I dropped that film, and still, I mean, since February, I'd say about 2,500 people have watched the film. It kind of shocked me because I think that the channel is now up to 274,000 subscribers. Um, I made something that wasn't about me, that wasn't self-serving, and nobody really cared. Um, let me rephrase that. A lot of people didn't care, and it kind of shocked me a little bit. It shocked me because just after we put out the film, I put out like a random gear video, and that video got like 100,000 views in like the first two weeks. And it shocked me because I took the time to do something for someone else, and I focused all of my attention. Instead of on myself and going out and doing the CDT, I, I put all of that um, work into something for someone else to give back to the community and it kind of crushed me. I'm gonna, again, I'm gonna be 100% honest with you guys, it kind of broke my heart a little bit. Um, I'm over it because what that did for me is it made me realize what is very important to me and why I do this. I don't do this because I wanna be internet famous. I make jokes about that all the time. I can't stand the term influencer and YouTuber and mainly because of this reason. Um, but it checked me and it made me think about what is really important to me and why I make media and why I share it. It's not to get likes and it's not to uh, appease the algorithm um, or any of that. It is the fact that I love to give back. It's the thing that I can do, right? My talent, my gift is sitting in front of a camera and talking to a camera and waving my arms around and saying, hey guys, right? That's my talent. My talent is using a camera. So if I can use that talent and kind of change the world and give back, that's what I want to do. With that being said, I appreciate all you guys. I love that you guys like watching me wave my hands around and talk about gear. But to me, there's just more important things um, in the world that I care about more than a backpack, than a pair of shoes. Uh, if you have recently sent me a message on um, 
Instagram after I've posted something and you've said, what shoes are those? And I haven't responded or I've left a zombie emoji, um, that would be why. <laughs> because I think there's a time and a place for that. And um, I also think there's a time and a place to care and give back and do something for somebody else. So I wanted to get that off my chest. That was the main reason of this today is I wanted to get that off my chest because going forward, that is my main concern. That is what I'm more concerned about. I've given five years to YouTube and making gear videos and making it about me and the thing that I'm doing, but the great gift that the film last year gave to me was seeing a different perspective of it and seeing a different side of it, which again is why I haven't through heck the CDT because it's not really important to me. Um, I like doing things for myself, but I really like doing things for other people. Um, I saw a couple people over here in the chat say, you know, you didn't, we didn't know about it because you didn't let us know. Um, I, there's a lot of videos here on my channel. You can go check out my videos. You can go to my community tab. I tell you guys to go click the community tab button all the time. There is a lot of stuff, um, a lot of stuff that I posted about the film before it came out. I showed previews of it. I did some giveaways for it. I announced whenever we premiered it. I even did a little video of the premiere and showed what the premiere looked like and all the people there. I posted tons of links about it um, on Instagram, here on YouTube, on Facebook. So I, I, I tried. Um, but uh, I also see a couple people saying, um, <laughs> where, where can I find the film? So I, I'm looking for the film now. The film is not on YouTube. I've said that a ton of times. <laughs> it's not a YouTube video. It's, it's a film to give back. Um, it is, it lives on Vimeo.com is where we originally put it and it is now on Amazon Prime, Amazon. You can download it on Amazon, whatever you want to call that. Um, you can definitely find it there, but if you guys want to find it real quick, um, if you are interested in it, like I said, after this, I'm kind of done talking about it. Um, if you do want to check it out, you can go to there. Look at that nice little graphic again to the outdoor evolution.com. That is the company that I try to talk as much about as possible. Um, but you can go there and you'll see a little tab up in the menu that says films. If you go there, there will be a link for both Amazon and Vimeo where you could download and watch the film if you haven't already. Again, folks, I'm, I'm not trying to say, I, I don't want you to feel sorry for me. <laughs> That's not what I want. I just feel like at, since then, I need to get that off my chest. Um, I need to get it off my chest because I felt like since February putting the film out, it has affected my media, what I want to make, when I want to make it, and how I make it. I've kind of held this little resentment, um, which is totally fine because it propels me to do bigger things uh, and it propels me to keep fighting for that and keep doing that. So. I did want to get that off my chest. That was the main reason I took a break. I just needed to recharge. I needed to figure things out, recharge, and figure out where I want to go from here. All right, so again, Outdoor Evolution, if you want to check that out. Also, if you want to follow along on some other projects that we have coming up, we're doing a really big project for public lands. Like I said, we're going to be giving 75% back um, to a public lands agency, so definitely check that out. Go follow us over there. We put up articles every other week. Um, we have a bunch of Instagram posts that we put up. We produce a lot of media over there. So if you guys are ever like, because I'm doing a break here on YouTube or you wanna see more media from me, go check out Outdoor Evolution. We put out a lot of media over there. All right. So, and thanks for everybody over here um, that is, uh, that's over here in the chat saying all the nice things that you're saying. I really appreciate it. I, I really do. Thank you. And I know sometimes like everybody's got things going on. So that's, again, I'm not blaming anybody. I just trying to get that off my chest. Um, how do sales of your film compare to similar titles? I don't know what that means. Not very well <laughs> because since February on two different platforms, it's only been downloaded 2,500 times. So apparently not very well. Anyways, um, Thanks for letting me get that off my chest, folks. It's gonna make making media for me and talking to you guys so much easier, so much easier. I just want you guys to know why I do this. It's why I don't 
it's 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 why I don't like the term influencer and YouTuber because I think that there's a lot of people that are here on the platform that are on some other platforms that aren't doing it for other people they're doing it for themselves which is nothing wrong with that nothing wrong with that at all um, get your coin uh, do your thing but that's not why I'm in it it's never been why I've been in it so um, I just want that to be known all right um, let's see let's answer some more random questions if you sent me a super chat over here I'm really sorry I was on a rant and a ramble I'm gonna to try to back it up a little bit and see what super chats there were I'm really sorry guys if I didn't get to it oh here's a great uh, question that kind of pertains to that how do you personally feel about the impact social media has had on the outdoors trails being more populated and blown up that is a great great question so Public lands, if, if we're talking about public lands, the whole invention of public lands and why it's there and why we've protected it and why we've put the money that we've put into it is for everybody to go enjoy. It's public. It's public lands. Whew, excuse me. Years ago, we put a lot of effort and a lot of money into preserving those lands. Um, our government, our tax dollars put a lot of money towards that at one time. Over the years, that has dwindled um, because of different uh, variables. We don't put as much money towards public lands. And what has happened in the last five to 10, 10 to five years is the outdoors have massively blown up, right? If, you, if we just stop and think, just here on YouTube, five years ago when I started this channel, there wasn't a lot of us doing this. There was Redbeard, uh, my good buddy Will Wood. Um, there was Joe over at Backcountry Banter. There was a loner on the AT, if any of you guys have ever seen his videos. And I came to the platform, a couple other people came to the platform, and then in those five years, it blew up massively. And that's just here on YouTube. That's not, we're, we're not talking about like Instagram, we're not talking about blogs, um, you know, different websites like the Trek or Reddit. So in the last just five years, I have watched the outdoor community um, massively blow up. It's become a fad. And I don't mean fad in a bad way. A fad can be a good thing. It's great that people are getting out there. But the outdoors, the outdoor lifestyle and outdoor attitude and just the style and the look um, has blown up massively. REI went from like really just being an equipment store to almost being a place where people go and just shop for clothes to go back to school, right? Um, companies like the North Face were making tents and mountaineering gear and now they're mainly a fashion brand. So um, because it blew up so massively and social media was a big part of that, now public lands are getting hit very hard. If any of you follow my buddy Plug It In over on Instagram, you'll know that recently he went up to Max Patch on the AT and he posted this photo. You should definitely check it out if you haven't. And there are so many people on this very small patch of public lands overcrowding it and they trashed it. They left tons of trash, tons of litter, plug it in and some buddies went out there and cleaned it all up. But he's been trying to raise awareness for that because that's the reality, especially this year with COVID and stuff. A lot of people have been going out to the public lands because of being trapped inside for so long, which again is a good thing, but the, um, we just don't have the infrastructure for it anymore. It hasn't been there because for years we've neglected it. And that's why I wanna shoot a film about public lands. So I think that social media has definitely created an impact on the outdoors. And I think it's, it's kind of a double-edged sword, right? There's a big positive side of that because people are getting outdoors and people are discovering something that they maybe didn't know they had a passion for. They're getting inspired to get outdoors and enjoy this thing that's for all of us. Um, you know, there's people that get over depression, people that get over um, maybe a bad relationship, uh, people that get over medical issues, um, a lot of things that the outdoors is great for helping people. So I think it's a great thing. However, the negative effect is of that is there's so many folks that have been uneducated about how to act and how to treat public lands. It's just a simple down, simple as down to leave no trace. There's a lot of folks that just don't understand leave no trace. It's not because people are inherently bad. It's because people just have not been properly educated because we haven't put the time into educating folks. So this is kind of my call to anybody that is watching. If you're an influencer, if you have an Instagram, I don't care if you have 100 followers on Instagram or if you have 100,000 followers on Instagram. 
it's up to you. If you love the outdoors, if you're going out, you're going out with friends or family, you're in a certain area with people, you're making YouTube videos, Instagram posts, think about the impact that has on public lands. And I'm not saying don't do it, but stop geotagging things. Stop telling people exactly where you're at because that does bring a lot of people out there. And I'm not saying that those people shouldn't be out there, but it's bringing too much attention maybe to one spot. Um, if you do have a platform, if you have friends and family that are wanting to go out and enjoy these lands, maybe learn more about leave no trace ethics and teach that to them. You know, if you're shooting a YouTube video, and I'm guilty of this too, if you're shooting a YouTube video and you are out hiking this beautiful trail and you're showing these amazing views, also show yourself packing out your trash. Show yourself picking something up from the ground. It's up to us to protect it because that time has kind of passed where it was up to um, the government and certain agencies. They, they can only do so much. So it's really up to us to help protect it, preserve it, and make sure that we ourselves can continue to use it, but also to make sure that it's there for future generations. So hopefully that makes sense to everybody. Um, I just think it's very, very, very important that, that we do that. Um, and I've seen some terrible stuff where people have said, well, some people just don't belong. That's not true. Everyone belongs on it. It's called public lands. <laughs> so everyone belongs, just not everyone's completely educated. Um, some people just kind of need to be slapped upside the head a couple times with knowledge. Um, so please inspire people. Please encourage people. Please influence people to do the right thing when they go out to public lands. Please, please, please. Ooh, TL Hikes sent a super chat and said, is the public land movie going to follow basically the same format of the AZT film? No. I enjoyed listening to the people in Arizona that had such a passion for the trail. I gave it two thumbs up. Thank you. I appreciate it. Uh, no, so again, you know, they say, write what you know. And what I know is what I've experienced for five years of, I guess, being in the outdoor industry, if we want to call it that. Um, and this is going to segue into kind of the last question that I want to, the main topic that I want to talk about today. And that is the fact that the outdoor industry is huge. There's so much profit and money that is made off of public lands. That's off of national parks, national forests, national wilderness areas. Now, whether that is a company like North Face making a jacket or whether that is um, a YouTube personality shooting a video that they're monetizing or that is someone posting an Instagram photo that uh, is, was a paid and sponsored photo. Money is being made off of public lands. And I don't inherently think that that's wrong. Again, it's public. It's for everyone whether you just want to go out and hike it, whether you want to use it to inspire people and create a career off of. But I think that people that are profiting off of public lands should give back and should care, should just care, should fight for it, should um, bring attention to it, should, you know, do something for public lands. Don't just use it. Don't just exploit it give back to it, do something for it. Let people know that you're doing something for it. Because if we all pitch in and we all do that, we can save it. We can save these things from being drilled and mined. We can save it from being overpopulated and crowded and trashed. And that's what it's going to take. So the film that I'm shooting is really touching on that side of it. Um, it's touching on the side of what I know. I know the outdoor industry, sort of. I know the outdoor media side of it. And I really want to turn that camera around and talk about what impact am I having on public lands? What impact is the gear company that I'm supporting, that I'm buying their gear, what impact are they having on public lands? And am I, I'm taking from it, am I giving back to it? They're taking from it. Are they giving back to it? And that is what I, that's the topic I want to bring up. That's what I want people to talk about. So um, that is mainly what the film is going to be about and how it's going to be structured. And yes, I will talk to some very inspirational people that have stepped up, some amazing companies that have stepped up to give back to public lands, to donate a percentage of their, their sales to public lands, uh, certain companies that go out and pitch in that are part of certain associations that go out and do trail work that try to bring attention to 
the thing that we all use, that we all love, that we all want to continue to use and love. That's all I'm asking. That's all I want. So that is the film that I will be making, my friend. So hopefully you guys will uh, stick around for that. Um, let's see. I got one more super chat in here. Oh, yes. Great. Great. Uh, Zenfully. They are having a cleanup day tomorrow on Friday at 9 a.m. at Max Patch. Thanks for plugging the importance of our public lands. Absolutely. I always, that's what I, again, that's what I spent a year and a half doing. Um, I guess whether you guys heard it or not, that's what I was trying to do, was, was plugging the importance of our public lands. But yeah, if you guys are in the Max, Packs, the Max Patch area of North Carolina and um, you want to get out and help, you want to pitch in, get out there and help them clean up Max Patch. They're not just doing it in Max Patch, they're going to be doing it in a lot of other sections too because they've had uh, so many people that want to come out and help. And a question that I got on Instagram that I wanted to answer real quick is people said, what are you, how are you going to be celebrating um, Public Lands Day? So on Saturday, this Saturday is National Public Lands Day. It's another reason I want to do this Q&A. Someone asked me, how do I plan to celebrate National Public Lands Day? So I will be going out on Saturday with my crew, hopefully, if they can hear me in the other room, and doing a bunch of cleanup on some of our local public lands here in the Coconino National Forest. Um, sadly enough, when I go out here and there, I do see pieces of trash. I try to pick up as much as I can, but there's some stuff that you know I, d I just don't have a big enough bag for that I really wanna carry out of there, some big items, like big pieces of metal, big pieces of plastic that people have unfortunately trashed and left behind. So I'll be spending Saturday on my local public lands doing cleanup. Also just enjoying it, getting out and enjoying my local public lands. And I would highly suggest everyone else, hopefully this will inspire everyone else out there to find out where your local public lands are. That might just be a local park, right? It might just be a public park. It might be a national park. It might be a national forest or wilderness area. Get out and give back and raise awareness. Get out and clean up your local public lands. So that's what I'm going to be doing Saturday. Hope you guys will be doing the same. All right. Um, yeah, and for anybody, this is a weird plug, and hopefully you don't take it this way. Somebody told me to do this, so I'm going to do it. Um, so, <laughs> so if you guys want to, if you guys are more interested in the things that I do not on YouTube, things like the film, if you're interested in uh, Outdoor Evolution, my media company, if you want to see some more behind the scenes stuff. Um, you guys ever want to check any of that type of stuff out? I don't share that here on my YouTube channel because this is kind of reserved for a certain type of media. Um, I do post a lot of that behind the scenes stuff over on my Patreon account. If you guys want to support me over on Patreon, I just recently put up an entire tour of the office and the studio here at Outdoor Evolution. And I talk about a lot of the upcoming projects that we're going to be doing. So you can see all that. You can see some like secret behind the scene videos and stuff like that if you guys go follow me over there. So for everyone that's asked how they can kind of be more involved with that and see more into that side of it, um, check out my Patreon. It's links down below. You can also find it in some other places. I won't plug it anymore. I always feel weird plugging my Patreon, but uh, if you guys are interested in that, you can check that out. And it always helps. How I've always done my Patreon is I take that, uh, you know, the proceeds that are made for my Patreon, and I always put that towards a project, like a film that I'm working on or a certain hike that I'm about to do. Chris Williams with the Super Chat said, I just bought the video on Amazon. I only buy movies on Amazon. Can you please make sure the next movie is available day one on Amazon? Yeah, so the reason, I've gotten a lot of questions about that. The reason we didn't make the film available on Amazon whenever we put it out is because Amazon takes a 50% cut of the film. So, um, you know, the whole point of the film was to raise as much money for the Arizona Trail Association and public lands as possible. And by putting it on Vimeo, Vimeo takes a very small cut. They are very creator driven. They care about the creator. Um, they're not just in it to make money. So that's why we originally put it on Vimeo. Um, the reason we didn't put it on Amazon is because we were trying to raise as much as we possibly could for the association. Um, so they take a 50% cut, 50% um, goes back to the Arizona Trail Association. So you can kind of do the math on, 
where the money goes. Um, for me, you know, I've told people about this. People have asked me, where's the other 50% go? Well, it's typically 40% on Vimeo and the other 40% has actually gone into an account since February to help fund the production of the public lands film. So I haven't made a penny off the film. I don't want to make a penny off the film, but that is where the money has gone. And the reason we didn't put it on Amazon originally was because they took 50%. But it is now available on Amazon. If you guys want to watch it, go check it out. Thanks for the super chat, Chris. I appreciate it. Um, yeah, someone said, a bunch of people said 50? Yeah, 50. <laughs> Isn't that awesome? Um, yeah, if you guys don't want to give 50% back to Amazon, uh, you can go download it on Outdoor Evolution. Uh, let me put up my little thing again. Hold on, hold on. Put up my little, boop, Outdoor Evolution um, films, and you can find it. It'll say download or watch on Amazon, and it'll say download. If you go to download, it'll take you to Vimeo, and you can directly download it to your computer. Uh, you don't even have to watch it on the site. You can actually own it if you want to. Um, you can watch it wherever you want to. So, Outdoor Evolution. Yeah, 50%. It's pretty terrible. All right. Um, someone said, no, knowing that makes me want to use Vimeo more. Yeah, me too. I wish, like, the entire YouTube platform would move over to Vimeo. YouTube's going to hate that I said that. They're going to shut this video down because of that. Sorry, YouTube. Uh, don't shut me down in, until I'm at least done talking. Um, all right, so the last main topic that I want to touch on today. So we've talked about why I really took a break. We've talked about the new film multiple times. We have talked about um, the CDT. Oh, thanks, Wild. I appreciate it. Another super chat. Thank you so much. Um, I loved the AZT film. film. Well done. Looking forward to the new film. Thank you so much. Um, like I said, the best thing that you can do to help support the new film, if you guys want to, is go follow us over on, oh wait, Public Lands Film and uh, follow along because we're trying to get a bunch of people watching and following along on the entire process of making the film because I think it'll be fun for everybody. So yeah, go check that out. Uh, isn't that fun? I get to turn that on and off. So the last topic I want to touch on is one that probably looks a little clickbaity. It wasn't meant to be clickbaity, it's there because it has been a common question that I have been asked a ton lately, and that's gear companies that you should or should not support. So for some reason, since this whole pandemic thing has happened, since we've all been stuck at home, since maybe I said a couple things in some videos, and since I have changed the way I do things with how I buy gear, what gear I use, is I get a lot of emails, I get a lot of comments, I get a lot of messages, DMs over on Instagram, people saying, I'm thinking about buying X piece of gear from X company. Um, should I support them? Are they a good company? Is it worth it to buy it from them? So something that I really started thinking about at the beginning of this year, it kind of ties into everything that we've talked about today, and that is the fact that not all gear companies in this industry, whether that's cottage company, whether that's big, massive, big box store company, care about what I care about, that are as passionate about what I'm as passionate about, whether that is long distance trails, whether that is the actual hiking community that I love of creators and people that just like getting out on the weekends. Um, you know, I'm a part of a bigger creator community, whether it's on Instagram or YouTube, there's a ton of people that do what I do and I feel like I'm very connected to all of them. Um, or whether that is uh, just public lands in general. There are a lot of companies out there that don't have my best interest, that don't have my community's best interest in mind, and I have decided to every time that I feel like I'm going to buy a piece of gear, I do my research. I figure out, is this company connected to the community? Is this company doing stuff for the community that I'm a part of? Is this company just trying to exploit the community that I'm in for profit? Does this company give back to public lands? Because if you guys haven't caught the hint yet, I care a lot about public lands. I care a lot about it, a whole lot, a whole, whole lot. <laughs> you guys will probably get sick of me talking about it. Um, and it's what Tin Man just said, a great way to wrap this up, this kind of what I'm saying here. Um, you vote with your dollar, you vote with your wallet. 
So if I see that a company is just in it for the profit, if they're just in it to make money and become this big, massive brand, I don't want to use their gear. Why would I want to support a company that is not supporting me, is not supporting the thing that I care about, that I fight for, right? I'm just a small dog. I'm just one person. Um, so why would I want to give my money and support a company that is way bigger than me, um, makes way more money than I do? Why would I want to support them when they don't support the thing that, that I want to put my money towards, if that makes sense? Um, so, um, yeah, Bob. Yeah, we know public lands. Yeah, yeah. Way to be a wise ass, Bob. Um, so, you know, I've made the decision and kind of what I've told people that have asked me that question, and it made me think a lot about it for a while. Um, you know, who should you support and who, you, who shouldn't you support? It's not up to me to tell you who you should and who you shouldn't. It's up to you to really look at the companies that you're going to buy gear from, right? That you're going to support, that you're going to put your money towards and look and see, do they care about the same thing you care about? It doesn't have to be about public lands. Do they share the same ethics that you share? And to me, that means a lot. The reason I support the companies that I support, that I use the things that I use, that I collaborate with, the Outdoor Evolution. Uh, if any of you that have followed Outdoor Evolution will know that we've done a couple co-branded items. Well, those co-branded items, the reason I wanted to do that, the reason we wanted to do that with that company is because I know that they care. I know that they have what I care about in their best interest. So, to answer that up, um, <laughs> I might answer that in just a second. That's a really good question. Um, <laughs> just saw a great question come up. Um, I feel like I, it's not in me. I don't want to support a company that doesn't care. Um, I have personally seen a lot of that in the last year. Um, again, I'm not going to name names. I'm not going to say things. That's up to you guys to do your research and figure out. But, um, I've personally been burned by that and it makes me feel bad. It makes me feel like I'm wasting my money, like I'm wasting my time and I don't want to do that. It's another reason why I have never taken a sponsorship. I've never taken a sponsorship. I've never taken money from somebody. I've never agreed to do something for somebody because I don't want to be influenced by somebody that might not have my best interest in mind. So that's why I kind of stay to myself and keep all of my stuff. Um, so <laughs> somebody said, let me see if I can find this real quick. Oh, somebody said something great about, yeah, I'll name drop them. Patagonia, amazing company. Like I said, tomorrow there's a, a documentary being dropped here on YouTube for free that Patagonia produced. A great company that puts their money where their mouth is. I personally only own one Patagonia thing. It's my tights that I wear when I do hikes, um, my lightweight tights, because honestly, I don't like most of Patagonia stuff, not because it's terrible, because it doesn't fit me. I just have a weird torso length and all their shirts tend to be like belly shirts on me. Um, but man, do I just respect the crap out of Patagonia. What a great company, putting their money where their mouth is, really um, giving back, supporting, and trying to raise awareness. And there's a lot of companies like that. Unfortunately, there's a lot of companies that aren't like that. And uh, for me, that's what it's all about. That's who I wanna support. And there's other companies that I don't wanna support. And somebody said somewhere, what about influencers who take money and want to stay in their lane? Um, I think that it's up to influencers to also think about the the products that they are involving themselves with, the companies they're involving themselves with. And not just because it's like, well, you shouldn't be talking about something that somebody else doesn't believe in, but just make sure that if you're an influencer and you're having a connection with a company, make sure that that company is in line with the same ethics that you're, you're in line with. Because uh, I feel like there's probably a lot of companies out there that um, aren't in line with the people that um, are connected with them, if that makes sense, uh, without getting too specific. All right. Um, someone said companies that don't care, you should tell us. So one of the things that I want to 
kind of announce here and hopefully you guys will follow along again. Watch, I'm going to do it again. I'm going to do my awesome fun graphics. You can follow over on theoutdoorrevolution.com and you can also follow on Public Lands Film. Um, here in a while, we are going to be, Outdoor Revolution is going to be launching a campaign. Um, if you guys have been watching my stories, you might know that I've been using hashtag give a shit. Hopefully that didn't get me in trouble here on YouTube. Um, we're going to be launching a campaign on Outdoor Revolution that is also involved with the film to basically highlight and talk about companies that we feel like we want to support that we want to highlight and talk about and show people this company is giving a percentage back to the National Park Foundation. This company is um, going out on weekends and working on their local trail. We wanna highlight some of those companies because I get that question all the time, like what companies really care, what companies don't. So we kinda wanna be connected and we're gonna kinda start a pledge. We want companies to pledge and say, yes, I do give back to public lands or I don't. Just because I'm working on a film about public lands, I think it's important to kind of kind of look those companies up and let people know where their dollar is going and what they're supporting. So we will be doing a full campaign, um, and then we will also be releasing a small lapel pin, and there'll be more about that if you go follow Public Lands Film and Outdoor Revolution. <laughs> there'll be more about that in the next two weeks. Uh, we're gonna kind of push a big announcement about that. Um, and 75% of those, 75% uh, of the proceeds from that campaign will go back directly to public lands. And if you guys want to support it now, we have items over in the Outdoor Revolution shop, and 25% of those items goes back to public lands. It's something we've always done, um, you know, and we just want to support companies that feel like us and that do the same thing that we do. So hopefully that makes sense. Um, yeah, hopefully that makes sense. So that was another big announcement. Again, if you want to keep up to date with that, you want to know when that launches and when that little awesome pin comes out, we'll be doing some items um, where a, a big chunk of the proceeds go back. Uh, definitely go follow those. Uh, uh, there it is. <laughs> go follow those to get more information. Like I said, it will be coming out in the next couple weeks. I'd post it here on YouTube, but every time I post something in the community tab, it seems like nobody hears about it. Um, so I don't know if I'm going to post it on the community tab or not. So go follow that if you guys want to check it out. This has been one of the best things, um, if I can get kind of personal here, this has been one of the best things I think that I've done here on YouTube um, because I just really wanted to get a lot off my chest. I wanted to talk with you guys and let you know kind of where my head's been. Um, you know, why did I take a break? Did I get burned out? Am I quitting? Uh, <laughs> no, I'm not quitting. If anything, I'm doing more, just not 100% on making gear videos on YouTube. I've made so many of them. If you have a question about what shoes that I'm wearing, chances are there's a video here on YouTube. If you wanna know what backpack I typically wear, you can probably find that here on YouTube. Um, if you want some suggestions or opinions on certain hikes and stuff, you will probably find that here on YouTube. Again, I think that I have like almost 400 videos up. I bet you I've made, if you have a, a question for me about gear or about hiking a certain trail, I bet you that I have, um, I bet you I've made a video on it <laughs> or I've done a and a At one time I did like an entire Q&A series where I did one every Tuesday for like two years. I bet you I have answered your question in a and a So go check all that out. It's all free. You don't have to pay for it. You don't have to donate to public lands. You can watch it all for free. You can get it all for free. Um, but if you do want to see some of the new stuff that I am doing over these next couple years, um, you know, and you're into the same thing I'm into and you want to support that and you care, uh, stay tuned because I'm going to be dropping a lot of that type of content here on YouTube. Next week on Thursday, my first Colorado Trail video will come out. Um, hopefully you guys will enjoy those. Not everything worked out as planned with that footage. I won't give it away. Um, someone said real quick, how is Darwin doing? I am doing phenomenal. Um, better than I have in a very long time. If that means anything to anybody out there. Um, I'm doing very, very well, and I hope you guys are doing well. Um, need a Snuggles gear review. There is, <laughs> there is a Snuggles gear review here on the channel. Again, almost 400 videos, folks. Uh, go check it out. All right, so um, I think that that's it. I think that I'm done kind of 
uh, chatting for the week. If you guys like this type of content, if you want to see more of it, let me know. Uh, whenever this video goes up, you will be able to rewatch this. It will be here on the channel. Let me know down in the comments. Your guys' comments fuel me. Some of them kind of irritate me sometimes, but most of them fuel me to want to do more media and do other stuff. So uh, let me know down in the comments if you guys like this type of stuff. And again, if you want to see more behind the scenes of the stuff that I do, if you want to see Outdoor Revolution, kind of see this whole side of it that I don't share here on YouTube, go check out my Patreon account. That's where I share it. Those folks are very um, in tune with it. I ask them all the time, is this cool that I post this here? They love it. So if you do want to check that out, um, I would highly suggest it. Um, oh, <laughs> Joel. Joel said, my daughter, Bee's Butt. Nice, nice trail name. Wants me to ask you to say hi to Snuggles. We met you guys a while back up in Flag. I will definitely say hi to Snuggles. Um, um, she's off today. This is basically the main thing that I'm doing. So here in a minute, we're gonna go hang out and probably make some dinner tonight. And uh, I don't know, maybe go for a hike or something. But um, I will definitely tell you that you said hi. Guys, thank you so much for sitting here with me, sitting through all this, letting me get some stuff off my chest, keeping you updated. Remember, vote with your wallet. Um, do your research. If there's a company that you're not sure about, if there's something that you just don't know about, and that's important to you, maybe it's not important to you, but if it's important to you like it's important to me, look that up. Think about it. Um, answer those questions for yourself. Reach out. If you're not sure, Send an email to that company. Say, hey, do you support public lands? Do you support this? Do you support that? Do you care? Um, put the ball on their court. Ask them because that's how we create change and that's how we, we drive things for sure. All right, guys. Thank you so much. You guys have an awesome week. Again, Saturday, Public Lands Day, National Public Lands Day. Get out. Do something on your public lands. Clean it up. Give back to it. Preach about it. Get people out there. Give back back because we're the only ones that are going to protect it and make sure that it's still here. All right, guys, I will see you soon. Bye.